All right, guys. So today, me and Mandy are here. Hey, everybody. We have a very special ration. This is from Latvia. We've done one of these here a while back, one or two of them. And we found a smoking deal on this baby. So we thought, well, why not do another one? Smoking deal, two for one. <laughs> Yep, I don't remember how much it was to be honest with you. I think it was um, 50 bucks or two of them shipped. But had it come from, actually it came from Lithuania, but it took a while. Mm -hmm. it took about a month. Anyhow, they are here. This particular one is mini number nine. Uh, these usually in the past have been pretty good. This is a new style with the light brown bag instead of the black bag. And it's pretty thin. Uh, going down that list of ingredients and everything looks really good. Yeah, so it has English on it. We so have English. stewed beef and sauce. We have the rye bread. First time you're going to try the actual rye bread. Um, we have... Rice porridge with mushrooms. Yep. The crab candies, whatever that is. This is caramel, caramel candies, crabs. I don't know. Okay. Strawberry jam. Black currant jam. A pack of almonds. Soluble coffee. And all the rest is I'm gum. Sure that... Yeah, gum, sugar, all the condiments. Without any further ado, let's go and open it up. In the back and on the top. There it is, all in one go. So that is our thing back out here: uh, stewed beef and sauce. And sauce. Yeah, I was gonna say what kind of sauce. Yep, they're almonds. Rye bread. Yep. That looks actually pretty good. Very dense. I've had it before. It's not moldy, so that's. I don't think it's moldy, is it? Uh oh. No, that's good. No. It's jelly. Is it open? I guess. Yep. Or maybe just a little bit. Smashed. That's unfortunate. This was the uh, blueberry jelly, I think. That one looks alright. That is current. The I don't current know if it's jelly. Open or just? Uh, I don't know. Let's investigate. I don't think it's actually punctured. I think that's just. There's a little tiny pinhole in it. It looks like it probably got done in shipping on the way here. Okay. It's probably more than fine. Um, <laughs> there's the crabs. the crabs. Yep. What? And that's our drink. No rice porridge with mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is our Esbit stove uh, with our... That's such a fine bag here. Esbit stove, rubber band, some matches, some very fishy fuel tabs. You want to take a whiff of that? Very fishy. Just smell like sulfur. No, nope. don't smell yeah. like fish. It's like fish to me, a little bit sulfury fish. Um, our Esbit stove itself. A little instruction paper and our accessory pack. Ooh. Not just a moist toilet, you have lemon fresh wipes. We have three packs of Nest Cafe Classic, double filter, full flavor. Put your pink out. Oh, four packs, my bad. Yeah. The Phillips kind of ration, huh? Lots of coffee, yeah. Got a spoon. Turbo gum. Yep, Turbo Extreme. Soft bubble gum. Yellow label, Ooh. standard yellow label tea. Lipton, brand name. Yep. Sugar. Two packs of sugar. And that's it, my friends. So let's get what we're going to use today. Esbit stove to heat that up. On these. A little something like that. Kind of sits on little feet on the bottom. So if you don't put that on something like a rock, like we got, it will burn whatever's underneath of it. Let's go ahead and cut open one of these tabs. I'm not going to open that over the tray because I don't want particles of that falling on there. Ugh. Well, 
See if that'll take off. Match stinks. Well, it's kind of like wet, like wet wood. I okay. So far. We'll go and open up our main here. We wipe the top off. Get any cooties off of it. Oh, watch out. Man. One thing about these cans from Latvia, they are tough as nails. Ugh. All right. There we go. And we'll see how the smell. That smells really good. Mm, it does. Kind of has that Eastern European kind of beef, beef smell to it. Put that on there like so. Did we get any splash? A little bit, a couple drops. Okay, and then we got some rice over there, I think. Yeah, let's go and do the rice next. We got a clear bowl for the rice. And it looks like 100 mils-ish of water. i just seen that. Yep, 100 mil. Which is not much. This was the mushroom rice. Near uh, risotto, if you will. So there is decent size uh, little pieces of mushroom in here, actually. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hopefully, this is not hot enough to melt the bowl. Give it a little stir. We'll keep it stirred up really good. Stir as we go. Oh boy. Nope, spilling off the bat there. Yep. 100 mils of water is not a lot of water. That's probably every bit of it, if not more. I'll mix that up, kind of let it sit and do its thing. It's going to take just a little bit for that to do its thing. Is it melting the bowl? No, it is not, not at all. So we got our beef, and it's bubbling up there. Yeah, it won't take long. It'll get temperature really quick. I have to start from the outside in because it's a little warm. And next up, we need to make our tea and some coffee. And Nathan did not bring the coffee. Oh yeah, there is. I was gonna say Nathan did not bring the coffee cups down here, but somebody did. Make a little bit for Philip here. Tear notch, is tear notch a thing? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Freeze dried, but definitely uh, Dark. very small. <laughs> yep. I'm keeping an eye on that so it doesn't boil over over there. Well, it's kind of sketchy, it's isn't it? Kind of, kind of close there. Might need to stir it very carefully. All right, we're going to pass this back to Philip. You can put that out of the way for yourself. Yeah, watch that. Hmm. That could be a problem. Let me see, there's a little holder for that somewhere. But the holders for the cans, they don't always work. Up, but she's gonna boil over. <laughs> oh, be careful. Well, that's not gonna work. Little on the sketchy side, but we got her done. Getting a little danger level is kind of accelerating a little bit towards the end. Okay, uh, next up, let's do some tea. I'm gonna smash my head on the cabinet door here. Let's go ahead and since there is no cold drink, it looks like drywall paste. No, it's not too bad. It's like I might need a little more water in it. Yeah, just a tad more water. So now you can see how the mushrooms pumped up in there. I'll smell that. It smells really good. You guys, want to, you guys want to smell it? It smells fresh. You want to put a little shot in here? A little more? Just a tad. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's 
seat this just a few minutes. Anything more, you're hurting instead of helping. Let that can cool up just a hair. We're gonna toss these to the side. We don't need the rest of these. Uh, do we stir that up? Are you gonna put it in a bowl or just? Yeah. Um, I could put it in a bowl, I guess. Maybe that'd I be think easier. Putting it in a bowl, you'll get the center of it warm. Yeah. Well, if you could pick it up. That's yeah. Thing. What kind of risky operation you this might a, be? Uh, microfiber or something to pick it up with. Um. Yeah. A pair of pliers is probably the best, but we don't. We don't have that. Get a spoon here to part in the uh, bright ass microfiber right in front of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got her all out of there. There it is. I'll toss that to the side. It's still smoking. Make sure these chunks are broke up and they get heated in there. Yep. I'll tell you what though, the Esbit stove, it's, she works. Yeah, those fuel tabs are kind of cool. How they almost get like foamy looking. You go and try that if you want. So it looks like we got cabbage, maybe. What is that? Toenail. No. <laughs> Piece of uh, I'll smell the uh, like fat or talon. Ooh, the lemon wipe smells good. Ooh, yeah. Not okay. Not too Mister Clean like. I don't think it's too hot. Just a piece of beef. Mm, perfect temperature wise. Ooh, that's good. So it has, um, I see carrots in it. Mm. It's a little on the greasy side, obviously, but it's got a very good flavor to it. Like, very good. Piece of bone in mine. Got some onions in it, though. Mm. What's your favorite? Good, except for that. That's what makes it good, Nathan. That's all I could taste on those. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Fill up good in there and get a little sample. Try not to drip it everywhere, which is difficult on stuff like that. That beef flavoring is just very good. A little piece oh, it's of so it. tender. Yes, it's very tender. Yeah, I think if you skim the grease, it's yeah. very good. Oh, yeah. And this rice, like having mushrooms in there, I think that's just a whole new touch on it. Too. You know what I'm. Are, are we gonna put those together? I was gonna say if you take right. a somehow a spoon of rice and then I guess get the broth. I'm trying to not make a mess here. Get a little bit of the broth and the rice because I feel like the rice is a little bit bland. Mm-hmm. Mm. Much better. So it's like the rice isn't really meant to be in by itself. Yeah, or you yeah dump those together and eat it like that. That'd be perfect. To me, the onion put me off in the in the main. Oh no, I think that makes it good. I think the rice is good, but like you know, I think it all just kind of goes together. You want to try some rice and that together, or what do you yeah. want to do? The rice by itself was definitely bland. Yeah, it is. Looks like our stove went out. That's good. Yep. Phillips dripping rice over the floor. We're going to hire some pet rats to eat that up. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. Another. So now we have, there's two pieces in here? Or... Mm, I think it's all one piece. I was going to show them there's a crazy amount of carbs in there. I don't know if that's like total. Uh, 56 grams. 56 grams of carbs. <laughs> that's the first survival stuff. That's kind of what you really want. Mm -hmm. Small and dark that is. Mm-hmm. 
That's that's good. Hey, Super. No mold that's on so it, so this is the coffee of breads. <laughs> that's really good. No, no mold. They're vacuum sealed. Um, Very nice and moist. Maybe. So this is a nice touch to this meal. Yeah, almost like a little treat. There's your treat, ma'am. I'm gonna try a little piece of this by itself, then I'm gonna dip some in the broth so that. There's your treat, sir. Very dense bread. Eastern European rye bread is usually pretty dry. It kind of reminds me of that pumpernickel German stuff. It's Probably similar. I don't really care for it too much. It's very, like, the texture is very it's thick. This, Let's dip that in here. This has a lot of flavor to it, though. Mm -hmm. The darkness on it. Yeah. It's almost like a sourdough, a okay, very, so very, very dark roasted sourdough. Dip that in there. It's actually not too bad. It's like a lot of grease. There you go. Yeah, it is. That totally changes the bread. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of guys do. They break it, some of that up. Also, we have the jams oh, to put on. That would make it a lot better. But one of the jams had a hole in it, and then the other one, what do you think? This one's fine. It probably got busted on the way here. If this had been out very long at all, it'd be all black and not that light color. Yeah. So they're probably both totally, totally fine. I'm just going to cut a little strip of this. I was going to say, try a little bit in that jam. Try a little strip for jam. Half in this one, half in that one. That's strawberry there. Is that this is plum? This is black currant. Oh. Well, my knife would have been more ideal, but that's okay. That's all right. Mm. Very good. Um, there's strawberry seeds in there. Yeah, very good flavor. How's it with the bread? It makes the bread better, I think. Okay, now for the black currant. It's a very acquired taste, but it is actually is not bad. It's yeah, better it's, than German. I never was really a rye bread fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is like really. What do you think? The super, super dark. Dark. Too dark, yep. I think, for me. I've had rye bread and enjoyed it in the past. I think with the jam, it would be good. Okay, I like the strawberry better. The black currant is just a lot thicker. Right, stronger. Mm-hmm. Have you tasted your tea over there? The crust, the crust on that bread is crazy. Mm. The flavor come out of the crust. When you drink after that bread. Yeah, this tea's got to be. Right. So you don't drink tea, do you? You don't like tea? Yeah, I'm just more of a cold tea instead of a hot tea. Do you want a little bit of this in a cup? No, I'm fine. Oh. Good? Yeah, same stuff we get here. Mm -hmm. Just uh, a decent tea. Right. Not the greatest, not the worst. How's the coffee, Philip? It's good. good? It's, it's normal coffee. So was the bread better with the jam? Yeah. I level it. The bread's a very acquired taste. Very, very, very. Yeah. Let's try the just the plain uh, almonds first. Yeah. Look at we'll the knife from cutting that bread. Yeah. It's a very, very, very dark bread. Mm. Unsalted, I'm a sure. A little bit stale. No salt, not toasted, just like a mediocrely stale almond. Yeah, they are a little stale. But just a hint of salt would be but nicer, but you can't be picky. Still edible? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Got the crabs. Okay, so that's like very deceiving. Apparently, it's um, fried peanuts with caramel sauce, or it's a candy. But I don't know why they would call Never it. Never had crabs, crabs. before? It's just oh, kind boy. Of odd. With some crabs? Yeah. Funny. Like case of them. Little crab. Cocoa and peanut filled. Looks like a peppermint. It's crazy. Kind of 
reminds me of a the candy. Oh, what is those candy? Something logs. I've tasted it before. Peanut log or something they call it around here. Well, it's actually pretty good. The chocolate, and the peanut, and then, but it's not peppermint. It's like, like almost like a berry flavor. Coffee. Yeah. It's not hard to chew. It crunches right up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is good. I mean, that'd be a nice little little treat, little motivation thing in there. Not bad. Actually. This is probably actually pretty popular. I would think. I think this is a, a pretty good ration. My favorite thing is definitely the beef. The beef and then the crabs. <laughs> Here's the thing. In the in the controversial HDR ration we did uh, a week or so ago, everybody's hating on us in there. They could have put stuff like that in there. Mm -hmm. You know, just pennies, and that would have greatly heightened the ration. Uh, crackers, jam, or actual peanut butter. Um, something a little bit different. I mean, there was just a million options. I think overall, I'm going to give this a uh, nine and a half out of ten. You want some turbo gum? Uh, maybe later. Okay. <laughs> Afternoon drag. Um, nine and a half out of ten because it's missing a, a cold drink. Yeah. That would have been good. Oh, we got them right here. What are you talking about? Sugar. Put Sugar you a little water, water and <laughs> away you go. Hummingbird food. Yeah, overall, I would say the same thing. A little much on the onions on this um, for me, but I'm kind of special well, when it comes to that. Not for me, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Philip, what's, what's your recommendation? I, good? I, I think the main is really good. I think when you mix the rice with the main, it yeah. makes a meal. You mm -hmm. know? Yep. Yeah, there's not really one bad thing no. in the whole ration. No. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's all for today's video. Stay tuned for another cooking video coming up. Yeah, this week. Um, let me see. This week we're going to have two cooking videos and two MRE videos. Mm -hmm. So we'll post four times this week. Say a prayer for us. It's going to be wild. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon. See ya.